It's your boy Superman 2000. I'm in the fight mobile. I was blown away by the Super Bowl. I got my mind blown by that comeback. And there I was in the middle of a room and joined the Super Bowl thinking, is it possible that BJ Penn has one last great fight left in him? Is it possible that BJ Penn can come back? Is it possible? I don't know, but there's a life lesson to be learned from the Super Bowl. Man, I, being a champ is all about having a heart. I know BJ Penn has a heart, but does he want it because he's always done it? I'm not sure, but is it possible? Is it just possible that Penn may have one last great fight left in him. And now, I went back and I watched his fight, right? And I remember when I first started taking Taekwondo and sparring with black belts and they were always throwing these high kicks, turning the around hose kicks, spinning back kicks, and it was always catching me. So, I had a friend does Muay Thai and I you know just went worked with him for a little while then when I went back to uh, Taekwondo guess what <laughs> yeah I got those black belts real good dude did a spinning back kick I didn't even, I, I didn't move I just dropped my elbow like this Caught his, got my elbow like that. His, his foot landed right here. Then afterwards, I just did a low leg kick, dropped him on the ground, and I was like, "Whoa!" So maybe with all the high flying kicks, Penn just tried to op to wait for an opportunity to get on the inside. And when you fight that person that does Taekwondo, you don't wait for an opportunity to get on the inside. Once they launch that kick. That's when you make your move. That's when you make your move. Because once that kick is in the air, they can't take it back. And that's when they're vulnerable. If they're in the, the open position, you move to the closed position. In other words, if they're, if, if they're standing with their left foot forward to throw a, a left kick, then you stand with to a right kick, then you stand with your left foot forward too. That's the open position. That's the closed position. Because if he throws the kick, you got you, you to neutralize him. But if you're standing opposite of each other, then that's when it's, it's going to be a problem. So, I don't know. I'm, I'm really... Is it, is it me just overthinking this or is, is Penn really done? I don't know. I don't know, man. It's hard. Because I really got mad respect for BJ Penn. So, maybe he just have one great fight left in him. Maybe he does. Maybe he should go to Bellator and they'll, they'll, they'll put him with somebody in, in his age group in that category and let him fight that person. But I, I really believe this Super Bowl, I mean, I had one coach that told me, hey, listen, man, there is life experiences you can learn from sports. And I, I, I never forget that coach told me that. And it's true. This Super Bowl... It's crazy. I, you know, I, 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 football is an amazing sport. I will say that. Both football and soccer are amazing sports. But right now I'm talking about football. The pigskin. American football. It's an amazing sport, man. That, that, that comeback. Just Hey, after watching that game, you're like, man, why are the things in my life that I can do that I'm not doing? Am I shortchanging myself? Are there things that I'm doing and I'm not living up to my full potential? Am I not maximizing each day I wake up? Yeah, from football, huh? Whoa! So yeah, there might even be one great fight left in me. 
So I might need to start hustling even more to get, get my business off the ground even better. Yeah? Am I limiting myself to the number of clients that I have? I'm doing pretty good, but hey, I could even probably be doing even better. Wow. I'm, you know, it's like, are you really pushing yourself to the limits that you claim that you are? Are you really living life to the, the best of your ability? I mean, sports just, ah, that game just blew me away, man. That Super Bowl was amazing. So now, AD moment. Yeah, now, back to BJ Penn. I think he may have one good fight left in him. But am I glad he's retired? Of course I'm glad he's retired. Are you crazy? I don't want dude getting hurt. But he may have one good fight left in him. Yeah, so that... that basically, this video was supposed to be about BJ Penn. But after thinking about the, 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 the Super Bowl, it's just... Yeah. If, you, if anybody who watches the Super Bowl, ask yourself this question. Are you really pushing yourself to the limits that you say you are? And, and I, I saw over in, over in St. Pro, and I had to ask this, myself the same question. After that match was stolen from him, I was like, okay, dude, you're ranked number, you're ranked number seven. Is a reason you're ranked number seven. What is that reason? You're ranked number seven. You fought this dude. He dominated the first round. The last two rounds he dominated. But he was gassed out. You was gassed out. But you, you kept controlling yourself and you kept plugging away. But then I thought about it and I said to myself, you know, I, I could be hard on, on OSP all I want to be hard on him. And I could be hard.